Accessible Web, WCAG Manual Auditing. Part two of Testing Success Criterion 4.1.2 Name Role Value. In this part, we'll cover custom widgets, ARIA implementation, and W3C design pattern considerations. Let's get into it. Custom widgets often require additional testing to ensure they communicate their name, role, states, and properties effectively to assistive technologies. To test custom widgets, activate the element highlighter to display UI components with ARIA roles. Check for any custom widgets not highlighted, as they may lack an ARIA role. Confirm that each custom widget correctly communicates its name, for example, label, role, for example, combo box, tab, or dialog, state, for example, expanded or selected, value, for example, slider, properties, for example, required or disabled, and then cross-reference each widget against the WAI ARIA authoring practices to ensure it matches the W3C design patterns for its type. This ensures assistive technologies interpret and announce the component accurately. If any widget fails to communicate its name, role, state, value, or property properly, add a failure in ramp. When implementing ARIA, use ARIA only when native HTML does not provide the required functionality. Follow W3C ARIA design practices for roles like tabs, sliders, menus, dialogues, and grids. Ensure ARIA attributes do not conflict with native semantics and misuse can break accessibility. And that wraps up part two of testing for success criterion 4.1.2. Together, parts one and two ensure all UI components communicate effectively with assistive technologies. Now it's your turn. Test your site with Ramps Audit Grid. Try it free for 14 days using the link in the description.